Hello and welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. This is a very quick one today. It's all about global color. This is a quick live trace that I did and it's made of, of tints of just one color. You can see 12%, 70%, 25% of this dark sepia. And this is a global color and that's indicated in the swatches panel by this little triangle on the swatch. And if I double click it to bring up the swatch options, you can see that global is checked. And if I check the preview button, any changes I make to the sliders will be reflected on the illustration. So I can make it green or blue or whatever, and you can see that the change is updated on the swatch itself. Another way to change the color is to option drag a swatch on top of that global swatch. You can do that with a regular swatch or another global swatch. Or you can drag a swatch from the color panel onto the global swatch, again holding down the option or alt key to replace that color. And again, you can make changes in the color panel and replace the global swatch from there. If you want the color panel to display the global swatch slider again, just click on it in the swatches panel. You can create individual swatches from various tints of the global color by dragging it into the swatches panel. And when you do that, you can see that the new swatches are named with the percentage of that global color. If you prefer to view your swatches panel in the list view, the global colors are indicated by a little checkered square to the right of the color name. Here's an RGB file that has a lot of gradients and transparencies, and Global Color will work with this as well. This shape is filled with 100% of the global blue, but it has a transparency and a blending mode. Here's a gradient that goes from the blue to white, and as before, I can bring up the swatch options and change the color. Get in the habit of using Global Color. It's a great way to quickly change the look and the mood of your illustrations.